McElroy, though, like we joked about him being hungover. But, right. you know, the presence of McElroy, you know, because there's a lot of other really big names, good players, major winners, tournament winners. But he separates from everybody else. And it's so significant for this tournament, for the country, Golf Canada, everyone, that he actually continues to come up every year. I was talking to a, uh, I won't say who it was, but a significant person at, at RBC. And I was saying, you know, are you going to, they got this new date. It's an awkward date because you got uh, a U.S. Open sandwiched by two signature events. So there's a lot of guys who are going to opt out of this week. And I said, are you going to sort of entice some guys to come up and play the field? And they said, well, we really only need one. And that's Rory McIlroy, and you get him in the in here, and it really makes your whole tournament to it. So there's extent. a signature event next week, and then the U.S. Open, and then and another then signature travelers. event after that. Yeah, it's three weeks in a row. That's this is this is like just a disaster of a date, and that's one of the things that RBC is pushing. They said, you know, they spend more money than anybody but FedEx with the PGA Tour, and they get this crummy date, and they're trying to push and say, look, we need we deserve a better date. You can't make the RBC Canadian Open a signature event because you can't have a it's seven, an open championship, a seventy right. person field to yeah. fighting for the national championship. So they're just saying, look, give us a better date, and and you know this is, shows you what happens when you when you don't when you have this crummy date. Who shows up? But right. the question the, is, Bobby, what would what would the date be? It can't be earlier than this. You'd, last this is the earliest it can no, be. It I totally agree. It yeah. can't. It can't be. Right. You can't, no. Two weeks no. ago, it might be minus weather or something. You can't <laughs> it do it. Pretty cold this morning when they right. teed off. I don't yeah, think the that. course would be a good enough condition no. to right. have it two weeks ago. The week before the U.S. Open or the week before the British Open or two weeks before would be. Be it, but then you got to shuffle somebody else out. Like, do you tell Jack Nicholas, "Hey, sorry, move your memorial tournament"? You know, that ain't happening, right? So that's that's it's not as easy as it looks. Mm -hmm. Everyone says, "Oh, this this should be the date," but mm -hmm. everybody wants good dates, and we're we're sandwiched in a small window where we can have them. Yeah, it is, it is frustrating because you know they've they've adjusted the whole schedule, and it's only going to continue. Like, if if PGA and Live come together and it goes international and all that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where Canada is going to fall in line with that, where you've got people pushing for Asia to have more events, South America to have events, Australia, they want to get back in the fold, South Africa, they want to get in the fold. But it used to be in September, and I'm not sure they love that either, and now they've moved up. But I, I, don't, I just don't see how there's ever going to be a perfect date, so no, to speak. But you can have a better date. You can have a better right. date than this one, that's for sure. Yeah. And, you know, as you said, five years, ten years down the road, it's the, the PGA Tour or the World Golf could look like F1. And you have one big tournament in every stop, and maybe the Canadian Open morphs into something different. But uh, right now, it's it's that's great. It's fun. Look, there's a lot of people out here walking around. But, yeah. But uh, you'd you'd like it last year or the year before with all those great fields we had.